Hello, in this video we use the method of moments to estimate the parameters in a beta distribution. Um, I'm calling this part one because we're going to do an R program that you know that takes these equations and copies them into R and then runs it to find the uh, method of moments estimates for a beta distribution. But the program is so small that I'm going to combine it with the maximum likelihood estimation for the parameters of a beta distribution. So I'm going to have two videos, lecture videos and then one R video combining the two. So here the beta distribution and I have a, a video called mean and variance of a beta distribution to find that when where we find the first moment and the second moment of a beta distribution and then we know the first moment, the first sample moment, just the mean. And then the second sample moment is just the sum of the xi squareds, you know, averaged. And then what we do is we equate these two equations and these two equations and then back solve for alpha and beta. And so that's what the video is about, is solving those equations. So here... Uh, step one, we equate the, f the first moment, you know, sample and population. Now we, you know, we back solve for um, alpha here. So we multiply up and then we, the alpha beta, and then we subtract one over and factor out an alpha and divide. And so the first, or the uh, method of moments estimate for alpha is this right here. So now once we find beta, then we can plug it back into this and that it would be the alpha estimate. And, and just to make things simpler, I'm going to call this ratio capital R. So it's beta R. And a couple notes as we go forward. The sample variance that we use in this video, we divide by n, not n minus 1, and then the famous shortcut video is the second sample moment minus the first sample moment squared. That's the, a formula for this. Now, if we look at R, which is this ratio, plus 1, it becomes 1 over 1 minus the mean. R plus 1 over R, when you plug this in, simplifies to 1 over the mean. Now, when we go to equating the, the population second moment and the sample second moment, then what we do before we start is we want to substitute in one. So we take, this is our estimate for alpha. So we plug it in wherever there's an alpha. And that's what we do here. Now, there's a beta common in both of these, so we factor it out, and it cancels with this one. Right, so we, and then what we do is we multiply, the, or divide this R over, and the, we're left with an R plus 1. And this is what this is, and then this, of course, stays the same. And actually, I don't know why I switched them, but I did. Then we, this R plus 1 over R is 1 over X bar. That's what this one is. And then we multiply this to the other side. And then, of course, this stays the same. Now, the next step is, is several steps in. So this piece is multiplied by this and then multiplied by that. And so this by 1 is what this is. And then this minus 1 subtracted over is what this is. Then the this times this is subtracted to the other side. And then a beta is pulled out. So when the beta is pulled out, that R is this one. And now the minus this, you know, is what this is. Then, to simplify this, R is the ratio, and then R plus 1 was 1 over 1 minus 
X bar so this inside piece simplifies to this then here one is X bar over X bar we get this and then this we get a like denominator so then we have to multiply by X bar and then we subtract them and we get this then we divide well if we multiply both sides by X bar that goes away then we multiply that up that's what this product is and then this is divided over and we get beta hat so this is it but we can do some simplification first so there, if we multiply this by minus 1, then we, that is s squared, minus s squared. And then this piece stays the same right here. Now up here is we subtract x bar squared and add x bar squared. And then that first piece, you get s squared. And then the, this minus there, and this is what we added when we subtracted. Right? Then this minus is usually taken up to the top and we factor out an X bar here and this is it so that's the method of moments estimator for beta <clears throat> now we take this and substitute it back into one for alpha and we get this alpha is this expression here now what we're going to do is the next video will be the maximum likelihood estimates for the parameters of beta distribution and then we're going to do the R illustration for both of those methods. And so that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.